it sounds sweet. What's up guys? We got the 12 valve and it's finally time to start making some power with it. I currently have it loaded up on the dyno so we can get a baseline to see how much horsepower it makes now. And then we got a whole table worth of goodies to try to get this thing up to 600 horsepower. Right now the goal is 600 horsepower and then hopefully we can grenade this engine and then we're gonna build a new engine to be able to withstand 1,000 plus horsepower. So this is gonna be a bit of a series. I'll try to link all the videos together or maybe put them in a playlist. But in this first video, we are going to be dynoing the truck and then we're just gonna be swapping the turbo and manifold and then we're gonna dyno it again and see if just upgrading the turbo makes much difference. So this is a Smedin S369. <laughs> And I also got the one with the steel 360 thrust bearing. So yeah, let's dyno this truck and see how it is right now and go from there. If you haven't seen this paint job yet, look at my calligraphy Ram logo. It's pretty cool. But if we open her up, she's basically stock, stock turbo. We got an air filter. I removed the fuel plate from my P-pump here. Then it has a five inch exhaust. All right, got her all set up. Let's see what this baby makes. Okay, let's see the results. So 255 horsepower and 601 foot-pounds of torque. That is a real nice smooth graph. All three of those are really, really nice. So all three of those poles, I actually didn't have any load on the dyno. Now this is an old dyno and it has really big rollers. So it does take a lot of force to get them moving. The reason why you would use load is to build boost. If it's too easy for the truck to turn the rollers, it's not gonna build boost and you're not gonna be able to measure your horsepower. But I was easily building my peak boost, which is like 20 PSI in this truck, no problem uh, without any load on the dyno. So I guess next on the list of things to do is to swap that turbo manifold and then uh, run around the dyno again. some there are pretty touch and go and i thought we were going to snap a couple exhaust manifold bolts but uh no we prevailed which is nice here is the old setup right here so do i need to run a wastegate i don't think i can with the new turbo but yeah there's no place on here for a wastegate no so we're not wastegating this okay i'm also realizing now that i can't use these not that i'd want to use them again anyways but these are my exhaust manifold bolts and just with my new steed speed, I'm gonna need shorter bolts. And I never ordered uh, new bolts or studs for that. So I'm gonna to have to get some of those coming right away. And uh, then we'll bolt up that new uh, exhaust manifold and turbo and run her back on the dyno. This is a good time though to say that I am selling merch. Here's a tank top, I got hats, I got hoodies, all that stuff. Uh, I do this full time now. These videos are free to watch and I love that you guys watch them. But if you want to show a little extra support, you can get some super sweet merch. I got really cool designs, darkirondiesel.com and I'd love your support. So it's now the next day. I just got back to the shop to work on some other stuff. And I noticed there's a big puddle of transmission oil underneath the truck. Like why is there so much oil under here? All of this, this is a lot of oil. And I'm looking here and I think it's the oil pan gasket. Cause looking above, the transmission doesn't look so bad or looking above the oil pan doesn't look so bad, but every, it's like every single bolt is leaking on the oil pan. I probably dynoed this truck like 20 times in the last month, just learning how to use the dyno. So I don't know, maybe it didn't like that abuse and now I need to change the oil pan gasket. For the second part of this video, I got my buddy Luke. Say hi, Luke. What's up guys? He is going to film and uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna see if you guys like that better or not. So let me know in the comments if you want me to keep having Luke film for me or if you want me to do it all myself. Okay, it's been about a month and a half since we filmed the first bit of this video. I had to get a downpipe. I had to get manifold studs. I had to get a new turbo drain fitting for the new turbo. We're finally gonna put it back together today. Hopefully we have everything. We're gonna take this downpipe out first. Then we're gonna put the turbo manifold in. 
put it together, hook up the new downpipe, and see what happens. We also have to address that transmission oil leak as well. This tight the whole way. So I wonder if this is gonna line up the same way the old one did. I gotta clean up these exhaust manifold ports a bit. All that dust going right down my oil drain. That's why you gotta do an oil change when you do this. Okay, so that's good enough for the chicks I go out with. You know, if I was doing this the right way, I would probably grab a, a tap and die set and I would tap these holes again to make these threads good. Because these are, well, this is 1995 with half a million kilometers on it. I don't think the exhaust map has ever been off until now. But it's eating it. It's taking it like a good girl. Yeah, this shouldn't be so bad. Now that all the studs are in, the gaskets are on, we just gotta put these washers and nuts on. Torque it to, I don't even know, probably like 30 foot pounds. I'm not using a torque wrench though. Torque wrenches are for pussies. Click. It's kind of like using a torque wrench. Exact same thing. Click. Whenever you're tightening these manifolds though, you always gotta start in the middle and work your way out. You don't wanna just start at one side. So we got the manifold in there and we torqued her down to about 32 foot pounds, I reckon. So now we gotta see how this turbo's gonna sit in there. So yeah, that ain't gonna work, cause look at where this is facing. So we need to turn this down. Cause that's how it was before. Oh. Like a fidget spinner at this point. This drain line keeps hitting on the turbo, on the, on the fresh air housing. But I have a couple here. Like I have a fleece one and then a factory 6-7 Cummins one. These are a pain in the ass to try to make work. Don't want to try to use that. Even this, this isn't the right one for the job, but yeah, like there's no way that'll work. We're gonna have to, I feel like we're gonna have to modify this drain pipe. So that will be good. That lines up. Downpipe to be determined. We have a new downpipe for it, so hopefully that lines up. So I think right now, our only issue is this drain pipe. It's a learning experience. It's kind of like trying to make chicken soup out of chicken shit, honestly. <laughs> so I think the plan is we'll heat it up here, bend it that way just a little bit, and then we'll have to do the opposite over here. And I've. I, I hope we don't just totally wreck this. Honestly, we might, but... I need sunglasses for this. <laughs> Hold on, I can't see shit right now. Do I look sweet? Oh yeah. So this is actually the factory drain pipe on both sides. We just cut a chunk out and we're using that hose and now it's not touching anything and it's gonna work mint. As long as it doesn't leak, but I don't think it's gonna leak. All right, so we got the drain plug in. It looks all good. Uh, we can start kind of bolting stuff up here now and see how she goes. Okay, so we had to put this oil feed line on backwards because this part over here wouldn't clear the new exhaust manifold. So it's got a wicked curve up there. We're gonna have to try to get a 45 degree angle, but we pre-lubed the turbo and uh, that's just another mystery solved for now. I, I don't like that, but it is what it is, right? So, so every time you change turbo, you always want to change the oil at the same time. And it's funny because I've owned this truck for about four years. I've never done an oil change on it. So when people say mechanic owned, yeah, mechanics just know how long they can push something until it's like absolutely at the very end of its life. Why? Why? Because I hate, I just hate doing maintenance, man. I hate it. I hate it so much. I'd rather spend money on cool stuff. And it's a 12 valve coming, so realistically, it's never gonna blow up. I could put no oil in it and probably drive it to Miami from here. Try it now. Transmission oil. Yeah, we need to put some in there. I don't know how 
how, how do I? Look at that, it works so good. Oh, wow. Okay. Watch how hard it slams into reverse, though. Actually, that wasn't even that bad. But because there's tranny fluid in it, bro. <laughs> so, I got a boost gauge here. And before with the old turbo, which I thought was a stock turbo, but in now that I'm thinking about it, it might be a little bit oversized because we're making like 25 PSI boost with the stock turbo or whatever was in here before. So I think this one's gonna smoke like crazy though because we're not gonna have enough fuel to really spool it good yet. That'll be the next episode. It sounds sweet. It does. Oh, you can oh, hear, I hope you can hear in the, in the... Should be able to. Like no boost. That's 10, 12 psi, 15. I like how we really didn't do any tests to make sure it's good. We're just we got her together out of the shop and we're just sending it. We're gonna go do some bag. We're bag driving it right now. That's all we're doing. <laughs> Hopefully it's good because we're a little ways from the shop here and I don't want to have to tow this thing back. <laughs> Was just the one, one yeah. wheel see it used to do both it used to do two wheel peels but now it's just doing one I'll do another pull and then we'll go put this thing on the dyno did burnouts and now it won't even do burnouts so we need more fuel for this thing for sure it sounds sweet it drives pretty good but it had more boost before with the smaller turbo so injectors it is delivery valves we gotta do all that stuff but first we gotta dyno it <laughs> i was wondering if maybe he saw the smoke from that one burnout and was gonna come and be like what are you guys doing Okay, we're doing a new run. We're not gonna use any load. We didn't have any load when we dialed this thing at first because these rollers are heavy enough that it could spool the turbo, but I think we're gonna have to probably add some load, but we're gonna do a few runs here and just kind of see how it is. And we had 255 horsepower was the max. I'm guessing that we're gonna be down to like 200 horsepower. That's my guess, because until we add more fuel, but I guess we'll see. Not really has any boost and then all of a sudden it, it starts gives us some boost but like I think we only hit about 15 psi there so I don't know let's go see what we got okay these graphs are so much different than they were before remember before they were just nice and round like that these ones you can tell it's like not spooling not spooling and finally you get some spool there but we only hit 235 horsepower was the best and then about 500 foot pounds of torque which is down from 255 horsepower, and I think we're at like 600-ish foot-pounds of torque. So I'm gonna try to put a little bit of load on the dyno now and see if we can get that to spool, you know, up here instead of way back there. And I don't know, see, that's better than I thought though. So have a look Luke here. We got 
238.7 horsepower, and we hit 501 foot-pounds of torque. So that was actually our best run, the third run. I loaded it up a little bit. Still not getting like peak boost though. Like we just, we need more fuel. So this is just going to show you that just because you put a big ass turbo on your truck doesn't make it faster. It actually makes it slower. You have to do the supporting mods. So we got to do injectors. We got the dynamite diesel products injectors. Oh, they smell good. <laughs> Those are going to be sweet. And then we got other stuff in here too. We got delivery valves. We got springs for the pump. I don't even know what some of this stuff is. I've never really worked on a P pump before, so we're going to have to figure it all out. But, uh, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. So that's basically it for this video. Stay tuned because we're going to be doing more fuel and then we're going to try to get this up to 600 horse. Fingers crossed. Make sure you go to www.darkirondiesel.com. Get some super sweet merch. This is pretty dirty now, but we got a lot of cool stuff on there. Mm. Follow me on Instagram at Dark Iron Diesel. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you on another video soon. <laughs> no one with like a nice new Lamborghini is gonna chirp somebody for having an old Lamborghini because those people aren't haters, you know? Zach.